Okay, welcome to lesson four of Python for Java programmers. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about integers, doubles, and booleans, as they call as they are called in the Java world, but in the Python world, they are called integers, floats, and booleans. So a little bit of a difference there. So let's take a look. As you know, in Java, you must declare your type for your variable. If you don't declare it, it doesn't exist, it doesn't work. Uh, yeah, you gotta say, this is an int, this is a double, this is a boolean. In Python, you do not have to do this. Python is smart enough to know that if I say i equals 20, I know it's an integer. If I say x equals 6.0, I know x is a float in the Python world. Booleans. Now this is a little different. Is tired equals true? So notice here, the Java convention for variable naming is called camel casing. So we have we start with a lowercase letter. Each word boundary, we have a capital letter. Notice also that true is not capitalized, but in Python it is. In Python, the variable naming convention is called snake casing. So it's like a snake, it's always low to the ground. So when you have a, a word boundary, you put an underscore. Again, function's the same, but if you do this in Python, it looks a little bit weird. If you do this in Java, it looks weird. People will think you are strange. So let's go ahead and print those out. So I can print I, I can print X, and go ahead and run that and see if we get the same output. So, so far, so good, 20 and 6.0. So there's a couple little differences here. So let's kind of scroll down here and take a look at the next section. And again, I hope you're seeing the commonalities amongst the programming languages. There are only so many computer programming concepts and high level languages kind of tend to follow the same kind of basic ideas. So I'm gonna go ahead and print a blank line. I'm gonna go ahead and print, just as a reminder, i plus x, i plus x, X in quotation marks will print out the literal I plus X. I'm gonna go ahead and print I plus X. I'm gonna print, uh, let's see, I minus X, and we'll just see what happens. Print I times X. Notice it's the exact same symbols. Divided by X, and, and then finally I did a little bit di something different here, 5% force for the modulus. Let's go ahead and run that and see if we get the same answers or something different. So I plus X, 26.0, 14.0, 120, 3.33 repeating, and one. So essentially the basic math functions are all the same. We get the same results. One thing if you are, if you are noticing here, I should say, is that even though we had an int and a double, it was converted to, sorry, an int and a float, it was converted to a float as well here. Now, if you're using Python 2, which you shouldn't be because it's end of life, you might see a slightly different result uh, when doing integer division, but hopefully you won't run into that problem. Now, this is where it gets a little bit more interesting. Print, a blank space, so print, and I'm gonna put it here, x is plus x. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and run that and see what happens. Okay, this is one of those weird, very, I'd say very rare cases where Java is actually better, I think, than Python in that Java will automatically convert this integer, or is this a double? This is a double, will automatically convert this double into a string when you print it. It's very nice of them to do that for you. Python does not, I don't know why. It's, it's a really weird thing. I'm sure there's a good reason for it. So it tells you, can only concatenate string, str means string, not float. So we know that x is a float because it's 6.0. We didn't have to put float here, we didn't have to put int here or boolean. The computer just says, okay, that's what it is. Now, to do this, what I can do is str. So this is the way that we I guess basically we call it casting. This is how we cast in Python. We put the type that we want it to be, we put it inside of parentheses, and then it auto then it converts it to a string for us, and then x is 6.0. Notice, just real quick, it doesn't actually change x into a string. Just locally here, it converts it to a string for us, 
then concatenates it, combines it with x is, and then that prints out the result. x is still a float, but in this local case here, it returns a string for us so we can print it out. The alternative to that is, is print x is. It's very similar to what we have over here in Java. And we saw this in, I think, in the, the first or second video, whichever one it was. Format, and I want to put x. And over here, I need to put curly braces. And now this format automatically converts it into a string for us as well. So we get the same output as we see there. Interesting, huh? And then finally, just to kind of roll, roll this out, print is tired. And we'll go ahead and run that and see what happens. And we get true. Notice again, small t, big t, uh, which is really interesting. I'm not sure why that's a capital T over here. I think it's a bit of an inconsistency in Python. But again, I'm sure there is a very good reason. Now, so far, I think it looks pretty straightforward. But here's one really, really, really big difference between Python and Java. So if I tried this, if I tried to say, let's say, let's say i equals, let's say Tokyo EdTech, and then system.out.println i. Okay, hopefully you know what's going to happen here. So we have an error. String cannot be converted to int. So we've taken, we're trying to take a string, put it into an int container, and we get an error. This is just not possible with Java. Java is what we call strongly typed. Once a variable is declared as a certain type, it is pretty much that type. Unless you, I guess, unless you, I wonder if you could redeclare it. I never really thought about trying it, but you know. Not super, not super concerned about it right now. Now in Python, if I did this, i equals Tokyo EdTech print i, and I run it, it works. So in Python, you can change a variable's type on the fly. Okay, so I'm, I'm done with that i, I don't need this integer anymore. Eh, I'll just change it to a string and call it Tokyo EdTech. You can do that in Python. It makes coding a little bit you know, easier in some cases, a little bit more convenient, a little less typing, a little less syntax. But as you can probably imagine, if you've done a lot of Java programming, you'll, you'll end up seeing a lot of errors where you're sending a string and it's supposed to be an integer or you're sending an int, it's supposed to be a, a string and all these kinds of, of different issues. Okay? So, but this is something that you can do. So I'm gonna put in here, you know, Python is weakly typed. Okay, so we can go ahead and change the type. I think it's called weekly. I hope, hope I get the right, wrong vocabulary word there. Anyway, that is that. Thanks for tuning in. Stick around for more.